Hey everybody, it's Beauty Boss Donna and welcome back to my channel. We have made it to the last week, weekend and week of 2020. And we are currently in campaign two. And so the feature for this campaign is a newer product called PhysioGel. It is a breakthrough care for dry, sensitive skin. So we are featuring that in this campaign and we have we have the uh, Daily Moisture Therapy Facial Cream. That's in this blue bottle. And then we also have, uh, then we have the Calming Relief, which is in the pink. So there is a, let's see, there's a facial and then there's a body cream and I believe it's for both. Uh, daily moisture therapy, yeah, for the body, and then we have the face, and then we have the um, calming relief for the body. Um, the calming relief is anti-itch, and then we also have, is there a facial cream for that as well? Uh, looks like it. Um, so we have those that we are featuring in this campaign. If you have dry, very dry, and very sensitive skin, this is a, the first product that we have in our portfolio that addresses those issues. So you might want to um, give that a try. And if you do order a full size, you will get um, a try it size facial cream. You'll get the try it size. Um, I have a bottle here of the uh, uh, Intenso facial cream. And this is, how many ounces is this one? Does it say on the box? I don't want to open it up. Um, oh, let's see. The brochure will tell us. Um, five fluid ounces and 2.5 fluid ounces. So I believe this is the, this is probably the five. Okay. So we have that available. Opening, it's regular $52 for the five fluid ounce. And it's on sale opening price of $41.99. The 2.5 is regular 32 and on sale opening price $25.99. So if that is an issue for you, um, we have this available. You may want to give that a try. Um, I do have samples. So if you're interested in some samples, just send me an email. I'll be glad to send some out to you. So you can try it before you invest in it. Um, I have tried it. I don't have dry, kind of dry skin, but not sensitive. Um, and I do like the feel of it. It does not have... Um, um, a scent to it. So it, those of you who are scent sensitive, um, there is no scent to it. It just, it's just a, a fresh smelling um, lotion that you would apply to your face or your body. So that is available for you right now during campaign two. Check it out and tell me what you think about it. All right. With this year ending, what I thought I would do is just talk about my picks for 2020. 2020 has been um, difficult and challenging and, and a year that many of us have never seen before. And so with that, you know, a lot of us had stay-at-home orders. Um, I was fortunate, fortunate, fortunate enough that I was able to work from home. And so with that, I decided I would try out some things that I normally wouldn't, wouldn't have tried out um, while I was here. I get, you know, I was doing my job, but then I had, you know, I had a chance to play around with some makeup things and some jewelry things and come to find out that a lot of those things I tried, I actually liked. So I wanted to share some of those things um, and just give you my best of for 2020. So I think I'll start with uh, skincare. How about that? So here are some items that I tried as far as skincare. I never before this year, I've never really got into skincare. I used to, um, back in the day, Avon used to have this um, exfoliant that they used to, I can't even remember the name of the brand that it was, but I really liked that. And when they discontinued it, I, I tried the new um, cleanse thing that they had and I didn't care for that so much. So I never really bothered with skincare and I washed my face and I, that was good enough for me. I had my body lotion. I would just put, apply that to my face. And for me, that was good enough for me. But this year I decided I would give this stuff a try just to see if it did what it said it would do. And everything that I kept, it does what it says it would do. So 
what I also want to do is just demo them. Um, I've already cleansed my face. I use the um, rice water cleansing foam um, to, to wash my face. And then in the mornings, I have been using the a new vitamin C serum. After washing my face, I use this as my serum. And then I've been using the Illuminating Priming Moisturizer. This is a 2-in-1. Um, so I'm going to put those on because I have cleansed my face, but I didn't put it a serum or the uh, conditioner on. So I want to put it on because um, the big deal about this is it brightens you up. It doesn't lighten you up, but it does brighten up your... Um, and it's not so oily and shiny that you're just in everybody's face all day, but it's just a nice... Uh, brightening um moisturizer and and just just gives a little more pop to your skin so i'm gonna take off the glasses and i use about two squirts of this i'm coming down look at that the bottle was up to here and i'm finally down to that so i have been using this i use it in the morning It gives you it gives you a nice brightening shine, but it's not so shiny that you're just like I said you're in everybody's face all day. Um, I like it. My skin feels like it has a coating of protection on it, but it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel sticky. And that was my worry with this. I'm like, is this gonna you know give me that sticky feel all day? It doesn't. So that is the brightening serum. I think that's like my number one for this year. And then this is the two-in-one priming moisturizer. Um, I have used a primer after this, even though this is a two-in-one some days, if I want, you know, extra, I will do another primer. Um, but most days I just use this as my primer and my moisturizer. And a little goes a long way. Again, this is nice and light. It is brightening. And while at first it looks like it's really, really shiny, it does calm down. And um, even with putting the makeup on on top of it, very, very nice. Nice and smooth, nice and light. Um, it has a little scent of uh, the orange. Um, uh, smells like oranges, but nothing heavy and nothing that's with you all day that you know you'll get a headache because you're smelling it so much. none of that it it um calms down it wears down and you go about your day and you even forgot that you put it on but it is with you all day so i like that in the evenings what i have liked to do put the glasses back on um in the evening what i've liked to do is i've liked using the a new hydrofusion this was going to be discontinued and for whatever reason it's still around so i'm glad of that <laughs> so in the evening what i use i still use the um the um the rice water foaming cleanser i still use that to um, cleanse my face in the evening and then i will use the hydrofusion as my serum for the evening and then i've been using the belief moisturizer balm at night I like this because it's a little heavier cream for overnight when I'm tossing and turning and, you know, I might get my, my night sweats or get heated, you know, a little heated overnight. My skin is still moisturized when I wake up in the morning. It's not heavy, but it's, it's, it's heavy. It's a little heavier than the primer moisturizer during the day. So I think this is good for me in the evening to just kind of keep me nice and moisturized overnight um, and then wake up. Um, my skin isn't dried out when I wake up in the morning and I'm good to go to start the next day. So these have been my go-tos. And then when I want, when I just want to be, um, when I want to go the extra mile, either in the morning or in the evening, um, there are some mornings where I, I might want to go just a little higher end. And then that's when I go with my Mission Lux Rev with the serum and the um, facial cream with this. Um, so it just depends on how I feel. Some mornings I might want to go high end and I'll do this in the morning. Some evenings I might want to go high end 
and I'll do this in the evening. Um, it just depends on what I'm feeling or what I think the weather is going to be like or, you know, whatever. Um, but I have choices and all these choices work well for me. So this too was, again, this was a little more pricey, but it does what it says it's going to do. And I love it. So those are my, as far as skincare uh, go-tos for 2020. Um, I tried all of these things. All of these things were new to me. I tried them out. I like them and I have repurchased them. All right, as far as makeup, I, when this came out earlier this year, and I believe it was campaign six or seven, can't remember, um, this is the uh, Cashmere Complexion Collection, and this is the Java, this is the uh, liquid foundation, it's vegan, um, this is why I like this. Um, I found the color that matched me the best. I went between this and I believe brownie. I, I think this one was the better um, uh, match for my skin tone and I like this. Um, but when COVID hit and you know we're forced to wear masks everywhere we go now, um, Cashmere Com Complexion Collection came out with um, a powder. And so I started using this and this one is the N160. So this is the closest um, comparable uh, color to the liquid for me, okay? Um, so this is the N160. And that's what it look like, looks like. And I have gone between the two, but again, since COVID, I have really gone with this and love it. Um, it's a matte finish. Um, it is buildable. Um, and it just, I just, I just love it. I don't feel like it's really cakey. I just feel like it's very natural on my skin. I don't put a lot anyway, but when I do put it on there, it's very natural. It, it doesn't look like I'm made up. It just looks like I have nice coverage on my skin. Um, it doesn't dry it out even after doing all this and putting this on top, it doesn't dry it out. So I, the moisture that I, I put on my skin, the priming that I put on my skin before I, I add this, um, this doesn't take away from any of that. So I like that. It's very, very nice and I appreciate it. So that was, a, both of these were win-wins for me as far as foundation. Um, when I do the liquid foundation, um, we came out with the love. Um, we came out with the colors of love, the Kishmi cushion. This is the lightener. Or the highlighter, excuse me, and then this is the um, blush. So the highlighter is Golden Lily for me, and that has been real fun. I like that. I like that you got the little cushion there, and you can just kind of control, put as much or as little as you like, and control that. So that was the highlighter, and then this is the uh, Midnight Lily in the blush. And so it looks like it might be too dark for me, but actually when I put it on, um, it complements my skin tone very well. So it works very nicely for me. So these have been my go-to when I use the liquid foundation. When I use the matte foundation, I have been using, this came out um, with the winter collection. This is called City of Light Illuminator. And this is in the um, Bonjour. So I just recently got this with the winter um, items that we had available. And that's the color of that. Look at that. Oh, it looks so, it looks so nice on I me. Mean, I really appreciate that. So I've been using that as like a highlighter when I'm using the matte. And then this came out, um, I think this was for Mother's Day-ish around that area, uh, around that time. And this was um, one of those uh, limited edition blushes that came out. This one was the Ink Red. This one worked the best for me. Here's the color of that. Now look at the, the difference between, where is it? Is this the, look at the difference <clears throat> between the two, <clears throat> excuse me, between the two blushes. This one looks real, real deep and it, it worked perfectly for me. And then this one just looks real, real, <laughs> just real, real light. 
And again, they work perfectly for me and they complement my skin tone very well. And you, you wouldn't think that the, the extreme contrast in the colors would do that, and yet they work for me. So it, you, never find, you will never know and find that out unless you play around with it. So I'm glad that I did because um, I tried the other, the other two that there were three and this one was the best one for me. Um, I already knew that this would be the illuminator that would work for me. Um, <clears throat> and we have that, um, the, you know, the color finder, um, on the, um, app or when you go onto the online store that you can kind of play with the colors. Um, I've tried this one with that, um, um, application on the online store and this one was really a true match for me. So you don't know unless you play around with it or give the tools a try. So those tools are there for you to use. I recommend that you give them a try. They are very helpful. All right, so that's the makeup. And then the other two um, makeup kind of things that um, I got a hold of and really liked was the Avon Magic Dust. This is um, a finishing powder. Um, this one is in the color of medium deep. So that's try not to make it spill out. That's what that color looks like. Works well for me. Again, when I go with the um, liquid foundation, I find myself using this one and it works very, oops, guys. <laughs> got the dust bowl going. Um, and this one works really well with me. With COVID and having to wear a mask um, pretty much everywhere you go, um, the makeup setting spray has worked wonders. This has um, by far kept when on the days that I <clears throat> decide to put on makeup, this has kept um, my mask pretty much clean of the makeup. It, it, it sets the makeup, it keeps it in place, and it has not rubbed off on my mask. The other thing that I have, and I don't have one down here, but I saw online, you know, one of those kind of cups that you can put in so you have that buffer between your mask and your face. I put one of those cups in there in my mask, and that has also helped. But what I'm finding is that, um, like the um, the foundation that I'm putting on, I probably need to put that on the cup as well, so that when I'm going back and forth with putting the mask on and taking it off and putting it on, taking it off, that it's not wearing down um, <clears throat> the makeup. So I'll have to probably put some of that on the cup, and then that will just make sure that there's um, continuity throughout my face with pulling and taking and pulling and taking and all that. So. Um, these were go-tos. I appreciate these and have been using them. This right now much more than this, but um, when I could, that was a go-to as well. Okay, so that was um, makeup, fragrance. I'm not big on wearing um, perfumes and and fragrance at all, but um, we came out with the velvet. I believe it was last year. Um, and I like that, but I didn't really wear that. It, you know, I kind of just spray it around and, and have it in the air, but I never walked out of the house and made sure I had some on me. But this Artisan Cherry Vetiver that came out um, this winter or late fall, early winter, this stuff, yeah, this works for me. I have one of these in the car. So I had one in, the, in, my, in my, I call it a pocketbook. You say purse, I say pocketbook. Um, and then I decided to put it in the car um, because I'm going in and out of centers and homes and um, I don't always take my per I never take my purse in uh, the centers and homes that I have to go and inspect and, and do visits for. Um, but I keep this in my, um, my little armrest thing. Um, I keep it there and I just spray it on and I'm gone. And I'm telling you, I, this, whoo! If they ever discontinue this, I'm gonna have to stock up and make sure I keep it because this is my favorite. Now we have a new, um, it's, not a, it's not an artisan, but we have a new fragrance that's coming out in campaign four that I purchased ahead of time to kind of demo. That's a strong contender, but that's more for spring. So for fall and winter, this is my favorite, the artisan cherry vetiver. We had the um, sachets, that you know you can put them in your in your sock drawer or your lingerie drawer or, um, and kind of help your your um, your um, 
lingerie and socks and underwear and kind of make those drawers smell really nice and I put the sachets in there and oh, <laughs> woo, I like it I really really like it the um Santo musk is nice as well but this is my this is my I have never liked a perfume like I like this fantastical this is my favorite so that's a go-to for me All right, other care. We have come up with our um, new lines of shampoo, the Elastine Propylene and the Chi. I've tried both of them. I like both of them. Um, so my husband and I were both using the um, shampoo and then I got the conditioner. So he uses both of those. Um, I found that for my locks, this was kind of helping to unravel them. So I went with the Chi. And I like the Chi as well. Where's the Chi? So I got the Chi shampoo. And then we had the, um, the, the four, you know, that little travel pack. In the travel pack, there was the shampoo, the conditioner, the, the serum. This is the serum, I'm sorry. Um, but I used the shampoo um, and, the, and I used the serum. I tried the conditioner last weekend. We went to move our son into his first apartment. And so I took the, the travel pack with me and I used the conditioner. I ended up ordering that, so that's coming this week for me. Um, so the Chi, I have to say, I love, 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 love the smell of the propylene. Um, but for my hair and what I'm doing with my hair, the Chi is actually the better fit for my hair. So I ordered, this is the serum, I have the shampoo upstairs, and the conditioner is on the way. So this is a win-win for me. This is a win-win for our family, because if I want to, I can, you know, play with this every now and then. But for really my daily maintenance or my um, weekly maintenance on my hair, this is the better product for my hair. But they both are amazing. So you can't go wrong with either one. It just depends on which one will work best with your hair. But I recommend them both. So, and we have both in our household. So there you go. We came out with hand soap. Now we've had hand soap. We've got the Census hand soap, which, which I love. We've got the little uh, travel size. It's more, it's bigger than a travel size, but when we go and we know we're going to stay overnight at a hotel, um, I put it in a baggie and I take that with us and that's what we use. We don't use the hotel soap to wash our hands because they just give you the bar. So I have the pump that I take with us and we use that. But this that came out this year, the Kachina, um, it is the uh, Fruits and Passion hand soap. This stuff is fantastic. My favorite of it is the sea salt and the Malfi lemon. My husband likes the coriander and, is it the coriander and olive oil? It's the green one. He likes that one. He says it reminds me of his, of his reminds him of his childhood. And that's the one that we have um, replenished time and time and time again. Um, I bought this one originally. And then when we did like, when Avon had the surprise ones, I think this one came in that. So I was able to get another one of these. And I keep this downstairs. Um, I use this as I'm doing the laundry and I just keep it in the laundry room. And I, you know, after I put the clothes in, I wash my hands and I'll use this after, um, you know, dealing with the laundry. He likes the other one. And instead of leaving, now these were supposed to be, <laughs> these were supposed to be for the kitchen, you know, to get the, the, the cooking smells off the onions and the uh, whatever small, strong smells that you may um, encounter, garlic and those types of things that you encounter when you're cooking. Um, this was really supposed to help in the kitchen. Um, he likes it so much, he doesn't want it in the kitchen, he wants it in the bathroom. So his is in the bathroom, and the one I like is in the laundry room. So there you go. Um, I had an extra, um, I bought the uh, grapefruit one, so I ended up putting that one in the kitchen. That one's almost gone, so we'll have to see what we're going to do with the kitchen. But this stays down here, and his favorite stays in the bathroom, and we'll go on from there. So that was a win-win for us this year. The other thing, I think the last thing that I want to talk about, yeah. Um, we have the senses, um, hold on, let me grab one. We have the senses shower gels. This one is the pomegranate and mango. Um, my favorite is the cucumber melon, and uh, we have since 
uh, upgraded the census line. And so um, it doesn't look like this. It's not packaged like this, nor does the um, product look like this anymore. Um, it's now, um, you know, getting into a cleaner version with less chemicals and things like that. And so um, I have it. It's not cucumber melon anymore. It's, it's a, I can't remember. Let me open my brochure and see if I can find it real quick and tell you. Yeah, so the cucumber melon is what I I originally like. I still have a whole bunch of those upstairs. And but then they have changed the uh formula. Let me get set this way. Yeah. And so now we have uh, fresh bergamot and wild mint. That's the one that I purchased. So it's this top one right here. I've got, I have this one and the shower gel. And I like that. I don't like it as much as I, as I like the original, but I understand the reasoning behind this. You know, we're going cleaner. We're trying to use less chemicals. And so this is a more um, eco body friendly version. Um, and so I do like it and I, and um, I use it, but I had this, and uh, I had it, and I had it in the box for months and never touched it. I heard, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I heard another rep talking about it. I said, I think I had this. Let me look and see. And sure enough, I did. This is the Bailment Natural Spa Bamboo Charcoal Carbon. Um, it's a body scrub and cleanser. I started using this. This is my new number one. It smells, <clears throat> it's not so much that it smells spa-ish, but it does have that, it gives you that spa um, kind of feel with the smell of it. But what it does, it, um, it, it is, it's a body scrub. It, it's got all the little, you know, the little, um, what do you call it? I don't know, those little beads. That's the best way I can describe it. Those little beads that help to exfoliate your skin and uh, give you a nice clean, but then it washes off and it's not really perfumey. Um, although it does have a nice spa, a light spa smell, but it's not heavily perfumey. And this stuff works. Um, I found that I have another bottle of it and I am excited about it. We also have, let me see if I can get to that page. So we have it, um, the Black Rose. I, I think I had the Black Rose and somebody bought that from me. Um, but this one I have, and I think I'm going to order the Black Rose and give that a try too. I, whoo, I, I really, this is, this is a super top pick for 2020. So that, I believe I've touched on everything. Um, all, again, all these products are new to me that I decided to give a try this year, and they are now my go-tos. Um, there are other things that I tried that I you know, I didn't like as much. I still have them and I still use them and I will use them um, um, uh, just to, you know, I don't want to waste the money that I spent on them, um, but I won't necessarily, re you know, replace them or replenish them. These, mm -hmm. and like I said, the hand, the Kachina, we've already replaced that again and again and again. So 2021, as we move forward, and the pandemic is still going to be with us. It's going to be with us for a good minute, I believe. Um, do not be afraid to try something new. Even with all the stress that we're going through and uncertainty that we face on a daily basis now, um, do not be afraid to try something new. Do not be afraid to do something new. Do not be afraid to go and do what you need to do to get through all of this that is going on. So if it means trying something new, if it means trying a new uh, shampoo, if it means trying a new shower gel, trying a new lipstick color, whatever that is, if it means trying something new to help you get through what we're going through, do it. Do not sit back and be um, paralyzed with the fear of the uncertainty. Paralyzed if you're going to get another check. Paralyzed if, uh, if, if, you know, if you're going to get the corona, if your kids are going to get it or you know, if you're like me, a frontline worker, if you're going to bring it home to your family, um, we cannot live in fear. We cannot operate from fear. We have to, we have to still move on and we have to still move forward. There's one more thing. 
as far as the makeup, I'm sorry I didn't share this. Um, I uh, played around with, I just saw it in the back of me. I'm like, oh, I didn't share that. Um, I played around with, what is this, the eyeliner. So this is the um, Ultra Luxury Eyeliners. And this is in the, I think it's only one color. This is in the black. So I tried that um, and I like it. Um, it helps fill in. But this one is the, yeah, this is the eyeliner. And then this one, the Glimmer Stick um, Brow Definer. <laughs> that was a game changer. This one is in, what color is this? Mm, dark brown. I've been playing with this and filling in my brows, especially where, you know, just lightly filling it in. Look at that difference. And then over here where it seems to be like it just falls off a little bit. Bam, I've been playing with this. This is a go-to um, as well. And then for the lip, the birthday bomb. Um, this is just a lip balm. It's a lightly tinted lip balm. This one is in the color of Birthday Post. And it's a lip balm, like I said, just a little tint of color. And lips are moisturized for the day. And just a little tint of color to it. And it has been the best. So now I'm done with everything that I tried and like. And, we'll be, and I have replenished this one a couple times too. This is cool. Um, but again, as we move forward in 2021, do not be afraid to move forward. Do not be afraid to try something new. And with that, we still have um, the free sign up for Avon. So if you're interested in becoming a rep, if you're looking for some extra income um, to supplement what you're already doing, I have a full-time job and this, this, uh, this is play money for me. Um, uh, you're welcome to join for free um, until December 31st. I hear a rumor that it may be extended again. I haven't heard anything official about that. So if you're interested, you want to get in by December 31st. If I hear another update, I will gladly tell you about that. But until then, if you're interested, now is the time to jump in and join the family. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for being with me this year. Um, I look forward to seeing you in 2021. Um, as I always, as I always say, um, take care of yourself, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye.